the way uh, a drug-free world works is it's not forced. You know, the videos, the materials, they are so impinging. The foundation for a drug-free world is, is particularly important this time, this society, this moment, uh, because these, this epidemic, uh, which needs to be talked about even more, is, is slaughtering people across the country, you know, across the world. I know the statistics here in this country. I know that 52,000 people died in 2016, and uh, most were between 18 and 27. And I feel like when people come to my theater show and they hear my life story and they hear the whole journey of not feeling good enough in my life and seeking approval and turning to drugs, that I think it frees people to communicate on it. So uh, it's great to partner with organizations that have similar uh, like-minded goals in mind to support children and families. We worked uh, extensively this year on legislation uh, with organizations like Drug Free World and others. It's, it's, it's just the work is so hard. Early intervention is extremely important. Um, obviously we need to do as much as we can in the state of New York. It's never going to be your mom and your dad telling you what to do that you're going to say yes, you're right. So I think what's beautiful about this program is, yes, they're being spoken to, but they're given the education in their hands, and their peers can also be the ones that are the leaders within that group to ensure that these kids get the right information and it's the right data that makes them make a smarter decision. Well, these, these programs are important because cops can't do it alone. Uh, we arrest the bad guys, but there's a, there's a growing number of people, young people especially, that are vulnerable especially endangered opiates now, synthetic opiates, synthetic drugs that are coming from overseas. So it's, to me it's crucial. Education is paramount right now. The Foundation for a Drug-Free World educates these young people on the harm, you know, uh, how harmful drugs can be. They accept where we are nationally, that we have a drug problem, period. Uh, it's not just our kids, it's all age ranges, people are dying. Well, I mean, seeing people go out and talk to people, at, the kids at school, I think it's so amazing because I think that's where it starts. It comes from peer pressure, and when you go directly to the schools, I think it makes such an impact. Well, I've seen the drug-free world visit schools and teach the kids. Um, they've gone to the UN. Um, they've gone to many parades and interacted with the different communities. And so I've seen the, their presence in the communities a lot. What the Foundation for a Drug-Free World does is so important because we've just, as a society, gotten to the point of having a drug as the go-to answer for everything, physical, mental, emotional. Uh, I've seen it for the Foundation for a Drug-Free World. Uh, I've seen them attend uh, numerous community events, reaching out to the community. I've seen them in our uh, various school systems. And I've even uh, used them personally uh, in different uh, church youth groups to reach out. And not only to the children, but also to the parents of teenagers to let them know all the various kinds of drugs that are out there. It's not only one kind, there's numerous drugs out there. It helps, you know, the youth and the young adults. We're able to educate them on the subjects of, you know, the abuse of these substances and et cetera. Um, they can support it by engagement, access for the material, um, creating forces, unifying, and we all and we all aligning on the same page or providing this education to the youth. So one of the biggest ways in which government officials can uh, support the Foundation for Drug Free World is to adopt the, the information that we have and disseminate that among community members and among other government officials and to ultimately promote what it is that we're doing and that's to spread the message and to spread the facts on uh, drug prevention and drug abuse all across the country. The Foundation for Drug Free World is helping the youth and teens by providing education and awareness of drug prevention. <laughs> Children, parents, police officers, everyone about the dangers and risks of alcohol and drugs. And it's making them aware and informed to make decisions about to not participate. They provide so many tools and resources and really get the focus to the needs of the community. In every community, not just here within the United States, but around the world. Because what they're doing, they're educating, they're inspiring. 
and they're teaching the truth about drugs. They're all about prevention and intervention. This foundation has helped tremendous kids from the Bronx, throughout the city of New York, throughout the whole state. And it's organizations like the Foundation of the Drug Free World that is needed to combat the drug addiction problems that are facing um, our great state. So I think it's a wonderful effort they're doing to, to uh, help uh, youth concentrate on the positive energy. The Drug Free World Foundation is doing a marvelous job in helping. And one of the things it's done is gave me a weapon. Old people, military people, and getting them to understand that this world is terrible for drugs and Drug Free World is punching. Um, the Foundation for a Drug-Free World also goes out to schools and communities and allows people to see how important this work is in the lives of not only the youth but the adults in our community who are actually losing their lives because drugs don't discriminate. Children, youth, and teens in our country are affected by Drug Free World because we have so many people across the country going into schools and community organizations and they're teaching these students, these children, about drugs and they're equipping them with the knowledge so that they're, if they're ever faced with the choice, they can make the right one for themselves. So I think the Foundation for Drug Free World just arms them with the information that they need to, in order to make those good decisions. Millions and millions of children who not only suffer from their own drug abuse but in households where their families and friends might be suffering from drug abuse. From an early age, from three, four years old, five years old, through elementary. Oh, the understanding drugs is such a taboo subject. It's a really wonderful experience. Uh, whoever is watching this, we welcome to our group and we're going to win a very safe world, a world that's full of freedom where everyone can have what they want and where they can achieve your dreams.